guys and welcome. Today we are going to be taking off my intake on my RB25 and changing out my injectors. The OEM injectors are 370cc I think and the ones we're putting in today are 750cc so that's almost twice the size uh, so this car will flow a lot better and actually manage the horsepower we are hopefully going to get. I'm aiming for around 400 horsepower. So I will try as best as I can to show you how to actually remove an intake on an RB25. I'm going to stand right here and re wrench. I think it's easier to just take off the hood to be honest. I'm a little bit worried about doing this job so I'm going to take a lot of photos so I remember where everything was. And uh, yeah, this I assume this will take a lot of time. I'm kind of nervous, I'm not that skilled at wrenching. But uh, you don't learn if you don't try, so we're gonna try. <laughs> and hopefully you guys can learn with me on this journey. Remember to subscribe and like the video to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And now, let's get going. First we're gonna do is take off the cover so we can see some more. I'm going to put the screws down here so I remember which one I used. So obviously we need to take off that one, we need to take off these uh, bolts. I tried taking these off, that was really difficult, but then I realized I don't need to take off these because I can just take off that right there. And I have heard there are some bolts underneath here as well, three of them I think. Uh, probably there, there, or there or something like that. I don't know, but uh, I will start with that, take off that, take off these, remove those. Uh, that's two on the underside as well here as well, two on the other side. So uh, we'll begin with that and see what that does. And we will have to remove my fuel regulator as well. And if there's anything more in the way, we simply just have to take that off as well. I'm taking a lot of photos because I'm so nervous I will forget something. take out the bolts on the underside right there and to do that I actually took off the intake pipe you see right there or the pressure pipe right there so now we'll try to take a wrench in here to hit the bottom one right there and there hopefully that works Okay, we have now loosened both the pressure pipe and the throttle body. I can't get that hose, uh, that vacuum hose off. But nevertheless, I can now actually see the injectors down there. There's a lot of vacuum lines and pressure lines or whatever connected to this. So yeah, as you see, we have right there, we have one right there. And we have another right there that I haven't removed yet. And yeah, there is a lot. A few moments later oh. That's the last one Now I got all three Oh yeah, we got all of them All three bolts These are on the underside On These are on the underside of the intake And I'm going to be honest Those are a pain so now, technically, the intake should be loose. Woo! 
I think it is. I don't know if I have loosened everything, but time will tell. Oh my god! That's a unit. I like that. Woohoo! Ah, sweet! That's so nice. Here we have the gaskets. I will cover that up immediately so nothing gets in there. Oh, love it! I have, uh, lately now, I have been disconnecting a lot of vacuum hoses and stuff like that around the intake, but the main issue with this intake, it's like this, right? On the car, it's like that. And to access the bolts you need to unbolt, you need to go from the underside and up here because they are, let's see, there they are, the three bolts that's the most painful ones are right there. So after you got that, then it's, that's the most difficult thing about this job. I am not looking forward to putting those in again, but I don't care, now it's out and it's actually time to swap the injectors which i have meant to do and now since it's out i will actually paint that black together with the pressure pipe and the uh, throttle body i think so the engine bay will look a little bit cleaner since i'm already doing this job and i have also ordered valve cover gaskets uh, because the car is leaking a little bit of oil on the exhaust side uh, of the valve cover and uh, ah such a good feeling to see this Engine bay looks a lot, it does not look clean because it looks like a mess, but uh, I like seeing it without the intake. Love it! Okay, so yesterday we got the intake for the RB25 out of the engine. This is all I need to change the injectors. I could probably change the injectors without removing this, but I think it's actually a lot easier to get a little bit more space. So. The main tip, the bolts that are a real hassle are these three, but to be honest I just used a regular wrench uh, with an extension and a 12 millimeter, and it was actually not that hard because I simply got the wrench from underneath and in between I got like the wrench down here and then up here again. So just straight up, 12 mil, take it out. It was actually not that hard. So I think actually there will be no problem installing this again, so uh, yeah. But I feel like this is quite a huge job, so I have probably 50 photos on my phone right now, so I remember where every connector and everything goes when I mount this back up again, because that's a whole nother story. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you learned something useful regarding the RB25 intake. To be honest, I would kind of like to see that I got a different intake on the car, but that is for uh, some time later. I've spent way too much money on the car now with all the other upgrades and uh, I simply cannot <laughs> put that, squeeze that in. Uh, I simply cannot squeeze a uh, intake in my budget because those are quite expensive but it would look really really cool but maybe for the next season uh, or maybe for the next season i could mount like uh, uh intake and maybe top mount turbo i don't know but for this season this will be plenty with what i got uh what i got planned for this car so yeah anyways hope you enjoyed the video like if you did and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye